You can tell it's Friday because A, my bed is messy, and two, my anime body pillow looks like it just got the shit plot of it. And Agumon and Majin Buu, which you can't see here, both look incredibly dead. So many of you guys have been requesting what my beautiful 11 out of 10 face looks like, uh, as you guys can tell. I am definitely in peak physique. I am definitely looking the best that I've ever looked, and everything on my computer screen right now, including the blue light on my webcam, looks blurry as fuck. So, it was the beautiful, beautiful physique of the best blue shirt in the world. So guys, everything is blue as you can tell. So guys, make sure you are ready for Market Watch, and I really hope that you get to enjoy the beautiful face to start off your morning, because I definitely should be bringing happiness to you. Get it? Get it? Yeah, I hope so. Bitch. All right, what is up, YouTube? Uncle Forty here. It is time for Market Watch. Now we're gonna get right into pretty much the nitty gritty this week. But first off, you guys know I want some likes. You guys know you are members of the Blue Shirt Squad, the most elite of the YouTube commenters. You are better than Simos. You are better than that House of Champs, and you are definitely more elite than any squad that Mega Capital G can bring my way. Robbie Chan wants some likes, so please, in the words of Yugi, yes, yes, take your dick slapping hand, slap the shit out of that like button. If your mouse falls out of your hands, you better click it again. So, just do your thing. It'd be a real shame if I had to uh, activate my trap card. Um, I really, I, I really don't want to do a disturbance strategy, but it's okay because you guys are the best so you know turn on those notifications that way you guys never miss out on the best segment of the week so what's going on in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh and the market watch um, I will say this there's a lot going on um, Tab is having some movements which is really interesting I mean it's the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh vintage market I fucking make fun of this shit every goddamn week you know we've already made two other videos this week actually discussing buyouts. If I had a dollar for every buyout that was happening this week, I would have had six dollars. That's how stupid this is. So, let's start with Code of the Duels. Firewall Trash Dragons are hitting 38.99. I can't... Where did we go wrong? Why is this card not following the basic rules? I don't get it. Uh, Trash Carnation's coming in at 32. Luminas are down to 10s. Ningrisus are elevens. Knowledge is sitting where they still were. Rescue Ferrets people think is good and has been. See, Rescue Ferrets also not following the rules. People think this card is good and they're buying it up. But I mean, hey, I sold mine for seven, so I mean, we don't really care. World Chalice is coming in at decently. Gaia, this is one of those you might want to have a copy of. It's also five bucks. I mean, what are you really losing? Um, outside of that, just disappointment on disappointment. Um, I actually forgot to pull up Draw and Lockburn. So, draw and Lockburn. Look at this. Why? I don't understand. This card should not be this much ever. Fuck me. And in other news, Draw Bird had a buyout from the Super Air as well from the World Pack ages ago. What a convenience. Oh, man. How much is stuff in this pack? Parrot Dragon... Holy shit. Key maze. I actually have a set of all this. Wow. <laughs> you can buy the uh, only one goblin fan. And everything else is just out. Jesus. Alright, next up. Min Min's are still $8. Omegas have fallen below 7 Okay, sure. Sage with Eyes of Cuckery are 6s. Crystal Wings are 6s. These are finally down. It's okay, it's okay, Vanity's Fiends. Not bad. Let's see here. Pendulum Evolution Skulkerbat, still the most expensive card in the set. Past Pendulum Call. And, woo, Wisdomize are coming up. I did not expect that coming in at twos. This set has very interesting shifts in its prices. Even though they're literally the penny stocks, um, it's interesting to see how this set shifts. Uh, next up, Maximum. Jesus, Ash Blossoms are 65s. Now, you guys remember when you could have bought these for 50s? I remember warning you. Uh, meanwhile, diagrams. Here's the thing with diagram, though. 
Diagram is going down because of the possibility of it getting hit. Once diagram, if diagram escapes the list and doesn't get hit, this shit will blow the fuck back up to the roof. <laughs> it's almost given. Same thing with masterpiece. I think if masterpiece doesn't get hit on the list, masterpiece will probably go up to fifteen twenty very easily. Or someone's going to try to buy it out. <laughs> Tornado dragons coming in at tens. Alliance is still where they are. Ooh, and endings have moved up the page. Wonder uh, what went down. Heritage chalk and eyes are three to four dollars. I mean, didn't get the reprint. There's only also five of them on the market. That's interesting. Invocations coming in at 33s. Macabas under 20s. Our hidden money card is making a move. It's now past three dollars. You got this, buddy. I believe in you. Looks like that. Nothing, nothing too big on the front page movements here. Um, the Pot of Desires regularly coming in at fifteen dollars. Oh man, these are holding their value. We'll talk about Megatons in a little bit. Dimensional Barriers coming in at ye old $10 for Inov. And Cosmics coming in at 15 still. Damn, these things are really holding their fucking own. I'm, I'm very shocked about this. Um, Alright, Megatons. Most expensive card is Cosmic Cyclone coming in at 7 Which is actually not bad at all. Uh, circle coming in at six. Circle will go up, I guarantee it. Dimensional barriers. There's not a lot of these. I'm looking at some of these numbers, though. I'm actually surprised. Um, navigation, 129 left from this guy. But I see a lot of people are calling this set a really bad investment. But if you're looking at it for the long term, look at these numbers that are available. Either like people sold these very quickly, or only these people took a lot of time, which means. Once these quantities start to move, these numbers are going to reduce, and this set might actually end up being one of the power sets in the game. It's it's really weird to see that, but looking at these numbers, I'm very confident still in my investment. Uh, Solitaire's coming in at threes, Barrage is still threes, Twin Burst coming in at two. Still a lot of these, this will be a number that collectors will eat up later, but you can definitely see where the competitive side is eating up things on the Megatons. Not bad. Um, Megaton promos. Desires are $3. <sighs> 700 of them. This is too low. I think these will go up after a while. Uh, Dark Magicians also. Same thing with Blue Eyes. These are collector's cards. This is something that will take much longer to move over time. But the potential growth and investment for these two particular products is definitely there. Nistis is a joke. Same thing with Bug Emergency. I'm sure the tokens are coming at like 15 cents. Yep. Yeah, that's to be expected. Uh, Infernity Mirage had a uh, mass spike. Actually, someone, one of my uh, Facebook friends told me about this to watch out for this. This is actually fucking ridiculous. But hey, um, outside of barriers, there's still sevens. There was one market watch where I said people should have bought these because um, they looked really low. And someone ended up taking my advice. Archfiends are a joke. Necromancers, LOL, are still nothing. I don't know. Infernity is one of those cards that will constantly spike up and down depending on just how the market watch is going. It's interesting. Um, Dante's, uh, they've calmed down. Tens. Ha ha ha! Look at that PGL3 coming in at a butt. Uh, if you want your Burning Abyss cards. Uh, go buy some ugly PGO3s. Sure, it doesn't look like these, but I mean, hey, for $4 and you can prepare for the hype, go for it. There's absolutely no reason not to. Uh, Fogblades got bought back. Jesus Christ, why? Well, it didn't get a reprint, of course. So, $10 on Fogblades. What's even still money in this set? A satellite Cannon... Uh, yeah, this guy's still eight bucks. Uh, we still have eight on um, Hinction Cloaks worth more than this guy. Um, Breaksword's worth Dickba! Yay! Wow, this is worth more than Breaksword. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, Breaksword wins by like 50 cents. I'm still gonna believe that Silent Armor Arc is worth more. <laughs> Neos Wiseman, uh, this is one of those vintage market things. Hey, you know what? Three bucks. Uh, why? Who bought out? <laughs> Hyrocrawl Phoenix. Why? Why? Why is this five dollars? This card's ass. 
five dollars on truck drag device. Uh, we have movements on these. Oh God. Psychic shockwaves are calming down. These were five to six. They're now under five. Super agents. There's still tens. You guys still have time before double helix destroys this value. Might want to make sure you have your set. Dark magical circles regularly are 14. As opposed to the five dollar ver Actually, no. These things are still 20. Ooh. Hmm. Navvies are still 15s. Uh, dark brights are expensive as fuck still. I don't know why. Wow, even the DTs are expensive. Jesus. Uh, Ultimate Zombie Masters. 15s still. You guys always complain about vintage bling. Here you go. So much value. It's still so beautiful. Still so beautiful. Uh, Bar Zodiac cards in general is fucking hilarious. Barrages or Blip Tales are 16s. These will go up if they don't get touched. It's coming. Dryden's 3. Everything's like $3. <laughs> yeah, $3. Hashtag Zodiac. Wadapons are going, or Hanawadas are going up because of fucking burn. Uh, well, you can buy these four out and make this a uh, $20 card for blue. People will uh, get really angry. Yeah, that's uh, very interesting. Coral dragons are still tens. They're they're on the they're heading towards nines though. Uh, Ding doodles are still eights. It's not a good eight. Uh, I don't know why that was ever pushed up as well as it was. Neo's coming in at five. Um, Lionheart coming in at four. Uh, Jester Convent still like three dollars. I don't get it. I really don't. Dark Room of Nightmare still expensive as fuck. Five dollars. Five dollars for all rarities. And this thing has five printings. Jesus. Drac Alios are tens again. I fucking hate dinosaurs. Uh, Malakota. <laughs> oh god, Malakota six dollars. Why? Why? <sighs> Sage with Eyes of Blue is fucking fives all across the board. Not bad. Uh, scrap, this twin dragon is five dollars for ultimates. Things always been high. Ill bloods, uh, hey, twenty bucks you can get yourself a good old secret air. I love the movement on ill blood. It's always very interesting. Um, all right, harvest coming in at four. I expect these to kind of go up a little bit more because of counter fairy hype. And the last thing I wanted to showcase, Vanguard. Since everyone's always like, Robbie, add a little bit more to your market watch. I got you. I got you. You can sit here and stare with me with the, the new set. I fucking, I bought my Avenirs at 15s apiece. Ah, fucking lit. Fuck me. Oh, fucking new game slots are 45s. Uh, fucking SPs, man. I don't actually get this. God damn, Yeagers are expensive. Orbros for 45 is okay. Ziegenberg's are right where they should be. Lose are too expensive. Gansalot's. I'm warning you, Gansalot's gonna get bought out. I want more Norris. This is the best fucking looking SP that I've ever fucking seen because this man's a fucking ninja. But, too much money. I'd rather just get my critical triggers. Titties. Uh, Shaharats are okay. These things are eh. Mujin Lords. Looks pretty standard for what I would expect. God, these are. Ugh. Ugh. Little Marins. Wow. Expected those to be more. Ziegenberg's coming in at 16s. That's fine. Um. Ah, oh, these, are, these are cheap. Regular Norries are 11s. Jesus. These are 9s. I expected that. Huh. Not bad. Wow, these are nine bucks too. Definitely didn't expect that either. Hmm. This set. There's gonna be a lot of movement in this set. I'm warning you now. It, it's gonna be disgusting. So guys, that's all I've got for Marco Watch for this week. Please make sure you have notifications turned on. There's gonna be a lot of interesting things going up this weekend. I'm already well filmed in advance uh, for this weekend because I'm gonna be away. I um, have a lot of events in my area. I could go to the Pokemon Regional, which is 35 minutes from my house. I can go play Yu-Gi-Oh! in Indianapolis. Or I can go to the Vanguard 1K. And I'm pretty sure the Vanguard 1K wins. Because we don't have a Pokemon deck. 
so guys make sure you're on that notification squad that's all i've really got for you guys this week so until next time guys hopefully this weekend all right do this the ride never ends guys make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel make sure you guys check out van cole 40 for my card fight vanguard channel and join me and house of champions on the zodiac duelist tv twitch stream I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.